Hey guys, uh, today I just wanted to share with you uh, an unboxing of the Rack Aporo uh, RGB gaming mouse. Uh, this mouse is 700 and, around 760 pesos on Lazada and it's about to go on sale uh, for 720 pesos on the 11th 11th uh, big Lazada sale. So um, it's the it's the best looking RGB mouse I could find that was and the cheapest um, from Rack. Um, and I just wanted to buy it just to check out the quality to see what how it actually like what it's actually like in person. So yeah, I'll just share that with you. Um, the specs: it's got an Omron switch rated for 10 million clicks, a Vego 30 30 50 optical sensor up to 4,000 DPI, 20G acceleration. Which I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, usually you want no acceleration. Uh, 1,000 hertz ultra polling. Six. 6400 FPS frame rate. I never even knew that was a spec for a mouse. Uh, ergonomic design and RGB up to 16.8 million customizable color options. Six programmable buttons with tilt click scroll wheel. Well, that's nice. And six foot lightweight braided fiber cable. So braided cable and it's got the DPI switch as you can see there. But we'll unbox it and see if it actually looks like the pictures make it out to be. This is my first rack mouse. I've never actually owned one before. So let's take a look. So there's the cable. It's got the quality. They got quality control check here. Is that the date? 2018. Cool. Anyway, nice braided cable. It's got its own little Velcro cable tie here. So that's cool. But I won't unwrap that at the moment and here's the mouse itself whoa that is very premium looking it's got like a textured matte black finish the new rack logo and there's the DPI switch with with no fancy label I like that like on the on the box it shows DPI uh, on the switch but it's just plain black and the mouse wheel has a rubber rubber texture with the you can see it's got LEDs on the left and right sides. So looking at the bottom, pretty standard looking. It's got this switch. I don't know if that's a DPI switch or an RGB switch, but we'll find out. And yeah, made in China. EasyPC.com.ph rack. Well, everything's made in China, so that's not a big deal. Okay, so let's plug it in and see the colors as well as test the I'll just do a quick test of the feel of the mouse but it's subjective so there's not really much point in me explaining how it feels for me um, but I can say how it compares to my Logitech G502 which was a fair bit more expensive <laughs> okay so plugging it in and it's lit up straight away Looks like it's default on like a color cycle. You can see here. Sorry, my camera's a bit out of focus. There we go. So that's it there. Very nice. Very nice for the price, especially for, for 760. Okay, the DPI feels very fast out of the box. Very high. The switch doesn't seem to have any presets. Just testing. Okay, and we'll see what this switch underneath does. Okay, it's got three levels there on that switch. And that seems to be something to do with the RGBs. So if I turn it one in the middle, okay, it turns off the outer RGBs, the logo stays lit, the wheel stays lit. And it looks like that would be fully off, yeah. So it's an RGB switch, that's cool. And fully on. So yeah, this is, um, maybe this is how my stock G502 felt, but it feels fairly respons- very responsive, um, and it feels accurate even though the DPI is high for what I'm used to. So we'll just quickly check on the Rack website and see if there's some software for this. Rackaporo drivers. 
looks like there's a keyboard error or something. On the, from rack um dot ph themselves, they've got the mouse listed as six ninety five pesos. But if you shop on Lazada, the delivery is free, and um, they're out of stock on on rack. But they're showing the old logo, which is what I thought I was gonna get, and this has got the new rack logo, so that is very cool. And drivers on their support, yeah, rackaporo.zip. We'll have a quick look at these. If it'll download. Yeah, it's already done. Oh, this is fast. I barely control it. Let's see what the drivers look like. I hope these don't, don't conflict with my current <laughs> G502 that's plugged in. It's on a different USB. So that's the software there. And sensitivity. Okay, it's got three levels of sensitivity. And I've got it on yellow, which is 4000. <laughs> okay, so the DPI switch might actually work now. Okay, so red is 1000. Four level DPI switch. So that's nice. My, um. Alright, they have that on the G502, but this seems a lot more simplified. Because there's. It's color coded, and the G502. Um, it's kind of color coded, but not as simple as this to set up. So I can set that to like 700 or so. But that's really simple for the rack software. I like that. Um, and it's got its own, you know, you can set multiple profiles. And let's see, LED, colorful streaming, that's the default. But there's a range of options here. Uh, steady, breathing, tail, neon, colorful, steady, flicker, response, streaming, wave, trailing, and off. So it's on colorful streaming. Let's try... Oh, and it's got the speed too. So you can slow that right down and make it like more of a... Did that work? I have to hit apply. <laughs> You can slow that down and make it nicer looking. Okay, steady lets you choose the color and the brightness. Right there. Uh, let's see, breathing, different colors, yep. Looks to affect more the logo though, not the outer that just stays. That's why the speed wasn't changing, it's just the, the logo. So on colorful streaming, apply, the logo is streaming through colors. Okay, what about neon? There's no color selection for neon, but it's bright. But it looks like it might be stuck in breathing mode, I hope not. Colorful steady. Should be showing this, sorry. Colorful Steady is, looks like it's pulsing through the different colors, and you can set it up how you want. Double click to pick a color, cool. And Flicker, what's that? Let's see. Okay, Flicker is affecting the whole mouse. That's strange, because breathing wasn't affecting the um, outer strip. But that's still nice. Um, response mode. Is that based on how I move it? I'm not sure. But yeah, after sen setting the sensitivity down to 750, uh, it feels almost identical to my G502. So for people wondering um, if it's worth spending the extra money, I'd say if you're just a basic, like if you're just playing basic shooter or strategy games, this mouse is more than adequate. I mean, you don't need 4,000. Even for CSGO and Twitch-type Twitch, Twitch type first person shooters, you don't need 4,000 DPI anyway. Um, apparently the, the sensor is not flawless, so, you know, maybe it's not 100% as accurate as the G502, but from my testing right here, I'll just do some quick back and forward 
checks between the little triangles. Um, I'm, I'm undershooting a little bit. Try setting it up to. Oh, it's got 750. It goes straight to 1000. So it doesn't have fine tuning of the DPI. So that's a bit disappointing. At least you can see that now. Are you serious? 750 to 1000. Why not 800? Okay, well, I'll try 1000. Because I'm a little bit more used to at least <laughs> closer to 1000 than 750. Okay, yeah. So if I do a little bit of back and forth between the, these little points, which are fairly tiny, uh, the mouse does feel accurate. It's just my own practice muscle memory with um, the DPI that I'm not used to. Like if these were heads in CSGO, I'm sure I could hit them. Yeah. Okay, so the mouse does feel good. It feels, the sensor feels great. The options here, streaming, what is that? The RGB options are, are nice too. It's nicer than the, the, the G502 that's got some very basic um, LEDs on it. It's just got the logo, the wheel doesn't light up, and the DPI. Logo and the DPI on the G502, which I haven't even got on because uh, RGBs annoy me if I leave them on too long. It's, you know, it's nice sometimes, but not all the time. Um, and then it's got parameter. Oh, it had improved point of precision. Oh, I don't need that. Polling 1000. Okay, that might feel even better now. Okay, that feels much better. Yeah, that's cool. So, now that point of precision things turned off it feels even more snappy I already felt accurate before though that's what I mean I've been playing like first person shooters for a very long time and even I'm having trouble discerning the fine differences between two different sensors because I'm, I'm pretty sure the G502 uses a Pixart um, Pixart something <laughs> but it's supposed to be one of the best flawless sensors that you can get and this 760 peso mouse is feels the same to me, um, and I've used you know if I use a really basic um, basic brand mouse, just the plain black, I I can tell the difference with those type type of mice, but this feels this feels good, and the the grip is very similar to the G502, um, even though there's a slight contour, a bit more of a contour on on the G502, the grip does feel similar, even just how it is. I wonder if an above view would actually compare. I mean, it's got sharp points on the G502, but the actual shape of the mouse when you put your hand on it feels very similar. Yeah. I think this is like hybrid claw grip that I'm using because my my palm's almost touching it here, but it's mostly the outer part of my fingers that's gri actually gripping the mouse. So yeah, I'll put it back to colorful streaming because that's the most RGB effect. And the slow, medium, fast settings, it's not fine tuned either. It's either m mid, fast, or slow. Hey, Eli. So, put on slow, and we'll see how that looks. It still looks fast to me, but it's good. And macro options, so there's macro recording and stuff. Okay, well, cool. Um, hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and at least you can see the quality of the mouse. I mean, you can see it right next to my G502, and the quality is there. It, it's nice. I'll, I'll recommend this if anyone is looking for a budget mouse. Um, I would probably buy one of these over my G502 with my current budget, and if I ever need a replacement, it would be this that I'm using. So yeah, thanks guys. Appreciate you watching the video, and if you liked it, um, hit like and subscribe if you're a new watcher, and if you disliked it, dislike. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you around in the next vid. Cheers.